Patient is a 62-year-old male admitted with diabetes and peripheral neuropathy. They list the medications. The hospital has one liter premixed bags of D5NS plus 20 milliequivalents potassium chloride. And patient's fluid has been running at 80 milliliters per hour for eight hours. How many millimoles of potassium chloride has a patient received? Molecular weight of potassium is 39. Molecular weight of chloride is 35.5. So for this question, you don't need to know any of this medication list because they already tell you what they're looking for. D5NS with 20 millicolins of potassium chloride. And this fluid has been running at 80 milliliters per hour for eight hours. So they want us to convert to millimoles. So we basically need to convert this eight hours into millimoles. That's what the question is asking. So the first thing we're gonna do is calculate uh, hours to milliliters. So start off with the eight hours here. Multiply that by our conversion here, 80, because the bag's running at 80 milliliters per hour. So I want hours here to cancel out hours here. So this will find out how many uh, milliliters of the bag has been infusing this entire eight hours. So next I'm going to convert this milliliters to milliequivalents. So there's 20 milliequivalents of potassium chloride because they're only worried about potassium chloride. You don't need to know anything about this D5NS because the question is specifically asking about potassium chloride. So there's 20 milliequivalents of potassium chloride for every 1,000 milliliters or one liter. See, because this one liter bag has 20 milliequivalents of potassium chloride. That's why I got this uh, proportion from. So you got milliliters here, cancel out the milliliters here. So that e if I solve for this, 8 times 80 times 20 over 1,000, that equals 12.8 milliequivalents. So over this 8 hours, 12.8 milliequivalents of potassium chloride has been infused into the patient. So now I want to convert this milliequivalents here to millimoles. So I'm going to use the formula milligrams equal milliequivalents times it by the molecular weight, all divided by the valence. This is just a formula that you just have to memorize. So I'm just gonna fill in my formula. So milliequivalents, I just calculated to be 12.8. Multiply it by the molecular weight of potassium chloride, which is given here. So it'd be 39 plus 35.5, right? Because there's one potassium, so that's why I just put 39, and there's one chloride ion. So that's 35.5. So all divided by my valence. So it's potassium plus one and chloride minus one. So that's why the valence is just one. So when I solve for that, I get 953.6 milligrams. So now I'm gonna use another formula that you have to memorize. Millimoles equals the milligrams divided by molecular weight. So milligrams, I just calculated here, was 953.6, all divided by the molecular weight, 39 plus 35.5, and that equals 12.8 millimoles. I'm sure you noticed that this number of the milliequivalents is the same as the millimoles. Uh, it, it only works in this case, in this question in particular, because uh, this valence is one. If the valence is something other than one, you're gonna get a different number from your milliequivalents to millimoles. So that's why just coincidentally, these two numbers are the same because the valence is one. And only if the valence is one, a monovalent, can this milliequivalence equal the same as the millimoles. So, my final answer in the computer, I put numeric answer, no units of commas, so it's just 12.8 and that's your final answer if you have any questions please leave it in the comments thank you